ay, 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 ay. So I know what my viewers are thinking after that last video, okay? You all are thinking, I'm not MLG pro enough to be in the LSG crew, okay? I, I know the history now, and I'm not pro enough, okay? And that's a fair point, okay? You might not be, but here's the fact, okay? Here's a fun fact for you. Before the foundation of the LXG crew, I was just a lowly scrub too, okay? I started out just like everybody else, just as a regular scrub, all right? Look at that scrubby, with a hottie on his side. And I built this crew with my own two hands. Now, if I can do it, okay, I'm pretty sure you can do it. Now, you might not have my MLG skills, okay? But I'm sure you could do it, all right? And as long as you come up with your own name, okay, and don't just try to take mine, all right, I think that there's potential out there for plenty of crews that are just as real and MLG Pro as the LXG crew. So here today, we're going to go into what you need to make a crew that's just as real and MLG Pro as my crew. Okay, so before you even start off, alright, you need two things to have a crew. Alright, the first thing is what game you play, alright? You can't play more than one game, you gotta pick the one game to play, alright? If you play more than one game, then you're gonna be a scrub, and you're not gonna get good at all the games, okay? You just gotta pick one game, and you don't even need to like the game, okay? It just has to be a popular game, alright? And then the second thing, of course, you should know this, is a crew, okay? You need a crew to have a crew. Obviously, all right. There's two ways to get your crew. Okay. Now, number one is you can just recruit scrubs. All right, and that can be kind of hard. And you gotta treat that like the army. All right, you're gonna treat it like the army anyway. But but you gotta treat that like the army. You know, you gotta take the scrubs through boot camp and all that. All right, and that's one way of doing things. The other way to do things, and this is the way that I I like doing it. If you can do it, all right, is try and find MLG pros that are already out there and recruit them, all right? We had this one Romanian guy that we got for real cheap because he was fleeing his country, all right? And he was a super MLG pro. He didn't have to do any training or anything. And I mean, granted, his parents were war criminals, all right? And we had to give him up to Interpol during that whole plea deal thing. But he wasn't a scrub, all right? And you want to try and find that kind of talent. Who did that to you? So you're going to want to practice non-stop to hone those MLG skills, all right? You're going to have to practice like Marines, all right? If you've got if you've got things that are like the Marine Corps, I highly advise you use them, you know? We used to have bunk beds for our crew, all right? We used to make them shave their heads and repeat chants over and over. And if it worked for that UFO Kool-Aid guy, then it'll probably work for you, okay? Now, you also want to make sure that you instill the qualities of a Marine, you know, in each of your crew members, all right? So you want them to be, like, tough. You want them to, like, adapt to things, all right? You want them to be, like, really, really resilient, you know? You want them to uh, be able to uh, resist the, uh, you know, blaring Rush Limbaugh on the base AM radio and just let it become background noise, you know, that, that kind of stuff. And, and the most important thing you want is bravery, all right? You want the bravery of a Marine who's willing to, to run headlong at a, who's, who's, who's run, who runs headlong into a, uh, you know, somebody who will run headlong at a... Like a Taliban LMG. Yeah, one well, of those, thanks. From now on, we will be known as Tanakh. So this is something that a lot of crews forget, and they'll forget it really quick, and that's why they fail, all right? You gotta stay tenacious, all right? You gotta stay lean, all right? Now, even your own body, all right, can be your enemy, all right? And it can fight you, and so you have to fight back. All right, now if you're the type of person that can go 10 hours with a controller, uh, you know, in your hands on just a Hot Pocket and a can of Monster, you're ready for this, okay? You're ready for this, all right? That is the most efficient diet for being a hardcore MLG 
gamer, all right? Because, like, the Hot Pockets, they're quick to make, all right? And they handle your need for food. And if you get tired, you just drink a monster, and bam, you're awake again, all right? It, now, this diet is, like, is like the only way to get through it, okay? It can be hard, but hunger is like a constant enemy, all right? And these foods are like the bullets and grenades you fight that enemy with, all right? So you gotta make sure your crew adheres to this diet, all right? Now, it might take time to adjust, and about 10% of you people will just straight up die of kidney and liver failure from all the preservatives, but you didn't want them anyway. They were pussies, they were scrubs. Everything's not gonna work out for the fucking town! It's goddamn fucking here in the wild west! It's good! Alright, next up is how you market yourself and you know how you get yourself out there, alright? Now that you're pro, you gotta let the world see that you own it like the scrub that it is, alright? So you gotta wear cool clothes, alright? Uh, in game, don't do it in real life, or you end up on a sub subreddit where everybody talks shit about your hair. Um, tell your friends, pretty much nonstop, that you are way better than them, okay? Uh, in fact, tell everybody that you are way better than them because you are. You know, you're MLG Pro now. You are just legitimately a better person than they are, all right? It's foolproof, too, because if you're better, then you're right, all right? And I've never been worse uh, at games than anyone, so I, I really, that one's new. I don't know what to do if that happens, but, you know... If you're better, you're right. So basically, you just have to be better at games than everybody else. Let everybody else know it. And eventually, somebody with a camera is going to see you doing that, and you're set. Yo, cowards, don't even smoke cred. So the hardest part is the MLG skills, you know, really the street cred is easy, especially with, uh, you know, tons of impressionable crew members around, alright? All you gotta do is crimes that are pretty easy to do, okay? Uh, there's shoplifting, you know, you can steal small things. Uh, when I started the LXG crew, man, we ate string cheeses every day because they just fit right in your pocket, you know? Um, sometimes, you know, uh... We would loiter, you know, or just like skateboard in no skating zones. His hair, whack. His gear, whack. His jewelry, whack. His foot stance, whack. The way that he talks, whack. The way that he doesn't even like to smile, whack. Me. Uh, there's arson. Arson's a good idea, you know, if you've got, uh, you know, a lot of abandoned buildings nearby. Just burn one of them down, then brag about it, uh, get into a fight at a bakery, that's a big one, I did that, that was huge for my street cred, um, you can, um, put, put it all on YouTube, too, that's, a, that's another big one, if you do crimes, make sure you put them on YouTube, you know, uh, granted, I, when I did them, you know, they made me take them all down eventually because of that court case, but, you know, I, I mean, it's just a temporary setback. Hey, who knows? You know, maybe your clan will be the one to come up with the next knockout game or those sex bracelets. I have no code of ethics. I will kill anyone, anywhere. Children, animals, old people, doesn't matter. All right, when it comes to sponsors, the rules are really easy, okay? If you find someone willing to pay you money to play video games, okay, they're your friend, okay? Don't bother looking too much into them, okay? Don't bother trying to, like, do all this research, all right? They're going to give you money to play video games, okay? Don't look the gift horse in the mouth, okay? And, and, and if they say, oh, well, you know, what if they're going to get indicted, you know? What if they have connections to organized crime? What if they're not really a business and they're trying to scam you for $10,000? Don't listen to the naysayers. Follow your heart. Get paid to play video games. So this is the obvious next step, alright? I have yet to meet a pro MLG gamer who does not want their own hip-hop dance crew, alright? Plus, you get to be the sponsor on that, and that's some king shit, alright? So... First things first, you want to get the biggest dance crew ever, all right? You want it to be like, you know, I've seen some other dance crews that are like eight members. You want like 40, 50 people, okay? That way, if a few of them sucks, one or two of them sucks, 
nobody will know because all the other ones will be good, all right? And it's also hard to go local because most people, you know, don't have, like, a lot of a hip-hop dance scene. So, like, you know, you, you, might, you might be lucky. Like, you might live near a community center. It's about to be, like bulldozed and the plucky youths are trying to earn money in order to save it or you might be near like a, a failing ballet school owned by a perfectionist concert ballet performer who's washed up and yet you know she's putting all of her passions in the next generation of students so that she leaves something behind so you know you might be able to find local crew members there but instead you, you probably want to do like I do and you know hire out to another country all right because they will work their asses off all right those middle school kids in Thailand that we visited all right they were crazy loyal to us all right they worked their asses off like 24 7 365 all right because we told them that they were going to get to go to a sweet rave party in America and touch a boob. And also, whenever they messed up, their dance instructor would take off a flip-flop and just beat the hell out of them. So, you know, I guess if you're trying to keep your dance crew in line, you know, a more rigid flip-flop works the best. Put the goddamn lead on the record. So the last thing you're going to want is a sweet rave party, okay? This is just like your victory lap, all right? This is, uh, this is showing everybody else that you know the business inside and out, and you know it so well that you can have a hedonistic, excessive, Gatsby-esque smorgasbord, all right? So uh, you're going to need DJs, all right? Now, chances are uh, you're going to want to try and find DJs who do dubstep, okay? There's other types of DJs out there, apparently. Uh, I didn't know this. But you want to go for the dubstep ones because all the other ones are kind of scrubs. Um, also, you're going to need some people to help set up like the lights and like the stages. And uh, so like what I, what I did was I used my hip hop crew, but you can use like your crew members or really just anybody who's willing to work for free because they admire you. You know, just take advantage of that. Um, and then when it actually happens, uh, the last thing you're going to need is a lot of drugs, so uh, just make sure that nobody in your crew is a snitch. Now, recently I learned that having a producer in your crew has like all these benefits, and like personally I haven't seen a lot of them, but the Russian esports guys told me that I should have one, so uh, here to go into it a little bit more again is my producer, Ogre. Uh, you know, uh, you can't just tell people to commit crimes on the internet. I'm pretty sure that's against the law. Okay, yeah, sure. You know, I'll be really worried about that when the internet police kick down my door. Okay? Get the hell out of here. Alright. That's what I thought. God. Okay, so I guess, never mind, you don't actually need a producer. They're just annoying. Great, we got the fry man up there. Alright, so now you've got everything you need, okay? You've done everything you gotta do. Your crew is on top, you know. You got MLG pros laying down, you know, their lives for you, okay? Everything seems like it's on top of the world. You can go to all the rave parties you want. No, no, no. That's not how it works, okay? Because if that's how it worked, I would still be on top, okay? You got to learn from the mistakes that I made, okay? And trust nobody, okay? So that's gonna be our next episode, okay? The next episode we do is gonna be about how you shouldn't trust anybody and how you gotta rely on only yourself.